Back to Leonard Leo and the Federalist Society. He's largely responsible for the makeup of today's courts, not only, of course, the Supreme Court, uh, but also the lower courts, the Federal Circuit and District Courts. Six to three uh, is the current Supreme Court makeup. That means Bush appointee Chief Justice John Roberts is the swing vote. Already, they gave Leonard Leo's movement a major win this week on school choice and guns. May Davis, member of the Federalist Society, former lawyer in the Trump White House, filed a brief with the court on school choice and joins us now. Uh, May, earlier we saw, we said this is just the beginning, not the end. Fair characterization? That's right. I, you know, I think it depends on what you're talking about. I think I disagree a little bit with what we were just talking about um, as far as Justice Thomas's concurrence. He, he writes the same concurrence in like so many cases. He really doesn't believe in substantive due process, but uh, he, he got zero people to sign on with him for that. And, and there's a whole backstory. But as far as the beginning of the story, I do think it's the beginning of the legislative journey in the sense that already now you're going to have a lot of big questions in state legislatures about what to do and big questions in Congress. Um, although, you know, I think the majority of the movement will be in the states. Fair, fair enough. It seems as though it's going to be really difficult to get to 60 votes on the Senate either way when it comes to uh, a federal either uh, law codifying abortion or making it illegal. But I'm thinking more about this movement that for 40 years has been focused on today. Uh, you overturned Roe, which was the which was the big deal. Um, all the marbles. What is the next section of law that the conservative legal movement focuses on? Well, so I don't think that there's actually a section of law. And I, I really do believe that as far as political preferences, the federal society has libertarians who probably think sex work should be legal. It has conservatives, it has moderates. So uh, it's, it's fairly broad as far as political preference is concerned. But as far as legal interpretation, Roe was really one of the most egregious legal interpretations uh, that, that you could identify. And so I think the other, you know, areas of law where we're going to be trying to think about, you know, where, where is where has legal interpretation broken down? Not necessarily, you know, what's a, what's a popular political issue? That could be anywhere. I mean, that could be in some Medicare statute. That could be, uh, okay. you know, border issues. It, it really, I mean, Roe is, is not you, yeah. I, I, I can imagine that there's a lot in the conservative legal movement, and rightly so, popping champagne corks uh, in celebration of, of a victory. That's what, that's what people who are victorious on one side do. Uh, as you all have been talking today and then watching the backlash from the left, is there any worry that you've opened a Pandora's box, that for 40 years the left was focused on all these other issues and allowed this very, very uh, focused group to come in and take over the Supreme Court, as, as you have, uh, and now all of a sudden they're going to start paying attention in a different way? I actually welcome uh, the left to pay attention. I think you know, in a sense, they always have. Planned Parenthood is a very, very well-funded organization. But most Americans are not in favor of abortion all the way up to nine months, nor are most Americans in favor of the Supreme Court deciding issues nationwide whenever they feel like. So I think the more that people try and push for either one of those two prongs of things, mm. it's actually going to turn people off. I think, you're, you know, your average person is neither on very one you know extreme side nor on the other, and so Miss Mississippi is actually a great example of that. Fifteen weeks uh, is is already more uh, abortion than the most of the world. Most of the world that allows yeah. abortion on demand is at twelve weeks. You have to wonder really how long the Mississippi law is going to last, though, right? Come on, that that they're not going to then. This was a test case. This was a design test case to challenge Roe, right? Well, you know, who who knows what the political winds will bring? And I think I'm never going to apologize for democracy. And so yep. I think what you're going to see is a lot more democracy. Well, uh, that, that's true on both sides, which brings us. Uh, you have an amazing way of bringing us to our next segment, May. It's good to see you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You All too. Right. Speaking of thanks for watching, go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.